Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Hello again. Shoy, shoy, shoy. Shoy, both soy. Hello, Lojpan soldier. Is what that means? It's no worry. We're not really an army. It's like a metaphor, maybe, or a game. I think that's a game. That's a game. This is a game. We gotta. We gotta keep it, keep it straight. Which things are which things? To be, to be logical and stuff. Here we are logicking, and you can only logic by knowing what things are, or else you're like. I don't even know what you're doing. Without knowing what stuff is, you're just like, like you could, you're like I'm logically the connection between this thing and this thing, but you don't really know what any of the things are. That doesn't work. Okay. I think we needed to cut some trees. So, tree shoe. There are a few tree shoe here, so I am going to plant some. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I have, I have pa ha to say 16. We just put together pa one and ha six. Pa ha. I have pa ha shift tree shoe which I will put here so that they will turn into Pacha Trishu Lo Pacha Shiftrishu Babanro They will grow Babanro Baha Baha means I expect I expect those to grow I Bahanmo that they will grow Iba Pandro Baha are those bubbles? Looks like you know, Looks like the the these are Kumtralama. That's a Fuhivla. That's a full like Fuhivla with the where's my bed? It's like a full Fuhivla from the um but it's with the, with the Kumte camel. As the, I hear they added camels too in the new Minecraft regular old camel camels but also llamas are apparently a kind of kumte they're kind of, these are a kumte you know like cam there's camels and then and then llamas and those are kumte and then this but this is a hirma and also there's khasli donkey so we got various we got it, we got it all worked out there's various things a lot of times you can remember about the, or the way to remember or figure out about the old words like that is just to remember that they're like English. They're like exactly like how English is. Hula, flower, hula, hula. It's kind of hard to say the ch at first. R is too easy. You can say the English R and you're totally good. Just say, just say English R, R, Rula. Totally fine. So, but I mean, people, people try to be not Englishy, and everybody hates the. Um, <laughs> there's a few. There's a um, an alternate pronunciation of X, that's as which is extra easy for English speakers and hard for everyone else but nobody else has to do it do they? Nobody else has to say it as Thrula and if you want to say Thrula because you just don't feel like learning then go for it say it with the th that's fine There's Lojban is, Lojban is more flexible than it used to be it used to be very inflexible and people were mean and now things are I'm gonna destroy the grass about how angry I am actually I was wanted some seeds also so these days people are very nice Fangu angry Fangu these an old-fashioned word Fangu you can say angry or you can also say um Wait, how do you say angry? Leho. You can say lehornmo. Well, leho is more, is like an aggressive. I'm not even sure that's the same as fangu. 
his finger, Leho is really like aggressive. Like, I feel aggressive. Leho. It's like expressing aggression. Whereas I don't know if every every time that you fengu that you the hon mo. All right, it's down here where I can. Do I have a? Yeah, I've got a a lich chi, so I can um, gasnu lo lo nu plicha. I think it's plicha is uh, the it's the tool that plicha apparently, and. Um, yeah, that's right. This is the place that's not a good place for a farm. And then I was going to find another place for a farm. Eek. Ye. I'm scared. Ye. I don't want to farlu fall. So I'm scared. Me. Ye. Mo. This is we came up with putting the, um, we came up with putting Mo after emotion words. Is a thing that someone came up with. I forget who came up with it, and but it's so good that we started using it so much. I use it so much because it's it's great to have the yeah a tree. It's great to have the um, no wor mo words because we didn't have a lot of the. Um, we were just making them one by one. Like we made a word, fizbu that means excited. Fizbu means excited, and then we also made wehi that means. That means I feel excited. And so then, basically, to say wahi means that you fees boo. It's the same thing. But also, now, you don't have to make words like fees boo. You can, I mean, you can if you want. If you want to have a different sound to make the verb, then go for it. But also, if you make something like wahi, I'm excited, then you get for free. You should wahin mo that you get for free a word and and word that means to be excited a verb wahin mo. So we made the newest one of the newest ones is we were just joking around and we were thinking about um it didn't get any saplings shouldn't it get saplings am I doing it wrong we were just talking about um we were talking about the words some words that refer to the current text they is a word that refers to the current sentence that it's in the word the <laughs> the word the sentence containing the word day is what day refers to it refers to the sentence with day in it so if you say me shusku day i say this sentence then day refers to Mishusku day. Or if you <clears throat> if you say Mishashusku day, I am now saying day, then in then day in that sentence day refers to Mishashusku day because it's, that's the sentence it's in. So that day is actually quite useful and it isn't even ridiculous that it's as short a word as day. Because there's a lot of times when you talk about the sentence the current, that you're currently saying. I, 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 it sounds funny to say that you would talk about the sentence you're currently saying, but, but it, you do. Because you're like, I'm saying this sentence because, I don't know. And it comes up a lot. It's surprisingly a lot. You hear that all the time. But, um, way less useful and I think just a joke of a word? Or an experiment of a word. There's a funny word called deho. The word deho refers to the word that you're currently saying. So it always refers to deho, since the word you're always the word you're saying is always deho while you're saying deho. That's not a serious word. That's ridiculous. What? So um, there's there's a word deho apparently. So anyway, we were just talking about that and being silly about how deho is silly. And so we were thinking that aho, the shape aho has a shape like our, like shnimaho. I mean, there's other, it doesn't have to be a shnimaho if it's shaped like that. That's not like a rule. It's just there's a lot of stuff that has been shaped like shnimaho, that has been shaped like that and has been shnimaho. Like, <coughs> for instance, wahi excited or wuhi Schadenfreude, or um, 
uh, some other ones. Lots of them. Cool ones. Woho. That's a good one. That means feeling like you wish time would stand still. Woho. So, and so then a ho, which is most of the word day ho, sounds like one of those. It sounds like it's another good, um, that sounds like it's an emotion word. A ho. So the, so since day and day ho are self-referential like that, that then it seemed to us like the word day ho i mean the word a ho would refer to a self-referential emotion you mean to say a ho to show that you're feeling a ho about feeling a ho which surprisingly once i thought about it i realized mm, that's actually, that could be useful isn't that useful actually because you do like spiral into emotions. That's the thing that happens with emotions is they like spiral into themselves and become about themselves. So that's so that's what I decided. That's what I think would be a useful way to use a ho is that uh, it's for it to mean to spiral into an emotion. I'm going to make vo kahamru mi zbasu vo kahamru. This is a hammer. A kahambru, a rokshi kahambru, a rock cut hammer. That's a tanru, where rokshi and kahambru are both verbs, and the rokshi verb is is what the is a subject that the kahambru verb is about. It makes sense that the way I think this is this is a good trick for speaking Lojban. Here, I'm teaching you Lojban. Um, here's a good trick for how to speak Lojban good. All you need to do is um, there's the cell tau, which is the part you say first in the tanru, and then there's the ter tau, which is the part you say that you say after the the cell tau, and then you can say again, and you can say another. If you say another ter tau, it makes the whole that whole. It doesn't make what you just said not a ter tau, but it makes it the ter tau of the cell tau. Okay, like uh, maybe a concrete example would help. We got these flowers, right? Hula, and they're beautiful flowers. Melby Hula. And what kind of beautiful? A uh, yellowly beautiful. Pelhu Melby Hula. So the in the Tanru, it's all one Tanru. The Tanru Pelhu Melbi Hula. In that Tanru we um there's the two parts of the Tanru Melbi Pelhu Hula beautifully yellow flowers or Pelhu Melbi Hula yellowly beautiful flowers. The two parts of Pelhu Melbi Hula are the tertau, the the base part what we're talking about is Hula flowers, and then the Celtau part is uh Pelhu Melbi, or Melbi Pelhu, or whatever. You can put a cell, the cell tau itself can be a tandru. So that's what it means if there's just three verbs in a row, is the first two go together as a tandru, and then the third one is like, wait, no, actually me. I'm the ter tau. And whatever the ter tau is, the final part of the tandru is the part that that's how. You, you, that's what it means. What the tanru means as a whole, what it refers to is, or what the, what the X1 and X2, what the things, what the nouns in the, the it becomes a verb, and then it has the, as a verb, it has its, its things that it's nouns, that it, it verbs them. So, and, um, so the way it works is you say, when you, you say something, and then, it sounds you by default if you go on to keep saying other things then that's going to be the verb you say a verb then okay you just said a verb good you got a verb but if you say a verb and then you say another verb okay then we're going to move on okay you the first or it turns out the first verb you said turned out it was the cell tau and it turns out you're replacing it with the ter tau which is not, I mean, it's not very garden pathy. It's certainly not ambiguous because you can, once you, you, 
you just when you hear a verb you don't know if you're in the situation this is the tertau and this is the verb of the sentence or this is the verb that this noun the, the main verb of this noun phrase or whatever you, you it's ambiguous it's unresolved not ambiguous but unresolved whether you're in that situation where you don't where it is going to be the main verb or you're in the situation where it's going to be the seltau and then the main verb is com oops and then the main verb is coming up so um so that's awesome because that makes it super easy to speak lojban i'm explaining to you how incredibly easy lojban is the way that it's so easy to speak lojban how easy is it it's so easy that all you need to do is there's the you say the seltau and or you say something that's either the celto or the terto and then you decide whether you got it right right you say a verb that could be the right verb that's a verb that's somehow related right you, and then if it turns out that if it's related it's related by being the right verb and you got it right then you stop you did it you did it all right good we did it oh, okay i did say the right verb but then as you, if you're as you're hearing the verb come out of your mouth you're like wait what verb did I just say? That is not the right verb. No. <laughs> what I am going to unsay that and say a better verb. All you have to do is just keep talking. Just say another verb and keep saying verbs until you say one that's good. <laughs> right? Like you say, if you're saying, um, so like, uh, if, if you're saying like, it, I don't know, what's something wrong? Um, so, uh, like if you're like uh the the harju shu hula right i just said the pig is a flower all right so i'm like trying to talk i'm like lo harju the pig shu all right what is it i'm going to do it i'm going to say the verb uh hula the pig oh shit what i just said was the pig is a flower Okay, 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 okay. All right. So just keep talking. Just keep talking until you're right. Lokharju shukhula jibni. Just if you already said lokharju shukhula, then add jibni, near. Now you said the the pig is near a flower. That is flower near, the kind of near that has to do with flowers. And that makes sense because the, the pig is near the flowers. So we made sense. So if you're just stuck somewhere, you just said a verb, and you, you're like, oh no, not making sense, not making sense. You just say another verb, and Lojban totally lets you escape. And then the, the ultimate escape hatch after that, if you're like, say a few verbs, and you're trying to make it work, but it's not working, and the verbs aren't working and being the right verb that you need to say, just say shoha. Like if you're like the harju shu hula pirma, it's none of those things. It's not a flower or a horse, and I don't even know how to say what I want to say. Just say your escape hatch is shoha. The harju shu hula pirma shoha. Shoha just means something, you know, like stuff and things and stuff and junk and whatever so there you go that's that's right you said you said it correct show hat is always the right verb and you you did fine good job talking those one so you just start out just be brave say some verb that's maybe the right verb I don't know Srasu no that's grass okay the 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 it isn't the the hard the harju isn't Strasu, the harju shu strasu shitka. Uh, um, no, the, 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 it's not really eating the grass. Um, whatever. Okay, I'm just going to say shoha. Okay, good. I said, you, and you said, as soon as you say shoha to get out of jail free card, you're totally fine. You definitely, you definitely said the right verb because, and people will figure out what you meant because now what you said before gets demoted to the cell tower and and it's just like a hint as to what the shoha means so it all makes sense that's how to get away with speaking lojban just say shoha and you'll you'll always be fine Dihai.
Best wishes to you. Koko Kurushi. Take care of yourself and be taken care of yourself. Be taken care of by yourself. Koko Kurushi. <laughs>